Good morning. We are coming to you for another session of Tao Overflows. Why am I quick to judge? This is the basic question that everyone asks. It has to be understood what is judgment. Judgment at the level of the mind and judgment at the level of existence. Judgment is between two situations, two decisions, and at the level of the mind, each judgment, there are two choices, and at the level of the mind, these are considered as contradictory to one another. You have to choose one against the other. For instance, good and bad, you are asked to choose good. If you have to choose between this and that situation, you have to choose. Mind divides. Mind considers both situations as contradictory to one another. Contradictory to one another. But at the level of existence, contradiction does not exist. There is complementarity. One supports the other. Darkness supports the light. If you want to write something, you need a background which has to be against other than the one that you are using on a white paper. You have to write with blue, black, red or any other color other than white. And also you have to use the darker colors to show on the white. And if you have to write on a dark color, you have to choose the light colors. So is there contradiction in that? No. The light makes you aware of the darkness. Darkness makes you aware of the light. And this is very important. When you look at it, light and darkness, in darkness you recuperate. The seed begins to open itself. First it grows, it opens its outer shell in the darkness. And then it manifests itself in the light. So both light and darkness are not contradictory to one another. At the level of the mind, there is contradiction exists. So you are talking about the judgment at the level of the mind as a duality. There, the, when you choose, you are firstly, you have assumed that one is good and the other is bad. What is good for you may not be good for the other. And so is the case with the other. So at the level of the mind, when you choose one, you choose against that the other is bad. You have decided this is bad and this is good and you have chosen good against the bad. This is not the way of spirituality, spiritual awareness. A spiritual awareness means you are to choose one but not against the other. You have to transcend. When you transcend beyond the two, good and bad, then nothing is good, nothing is bad for you. And this comes to you when you are not guided by the mind, instead by your consciousness or intuition or innocence. To you, when you see a bandit, you have to escape. To you, it is dangerous. It is bad. But 
Does it exist for the infant child lying in the crib? The bandit is standing with a knife in his hand. And you are afraid. The infant is not afraid. He is not aware of the danger. You are aware of the danger. So transcendence is the way. And if you look at it, Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, Sitoshna Samadukha who Arjun asks, who is an, a yogi? Krishna says, one who is beyond heat and cold and attains to the state of equanimity. Neither heat is bad for him nor cold. In the scheme of existence, both exist as contradictory. It is necessary. The sun and moon, both are necessary. Moon reflects the light of the sun. Moonlight is cooling, sunlight is not. But in the process of the development, in the process of the growth, the moon, when the fruit is naturally ripe, moonlight gives it to you a sweetness and the sunlight gives you ripeness. Together both are necessary. Now, from another angle, judgment is a sharp knife. Judgment is like a sharp knife in the hands of a doctor, in the hands of a surgeon, in the hands of a master chef, a sharp knife is a blessing. But in the hands of an ignorant one, sharp, sharp knife, even any kind of knife, is a danger. So, a Master chef or a chef requires a very sharp knife. Surgeon requires a sharp knife. With the, what he does with the sharp knife, he removes the unwanted from the wanted. You take the onion, you take the any other vegetable. It has an outer surface which is known as peels. The the skin, outer skin, in order, this outer skin protects the inner quality of the innerness of the onion, garlic, ginger. It is necessary because onion grows in the ground, garlic grows under the ground, the potato, sweet pepper, sweet potato, all these grow under the ground. So because they are growing under the ground in order to protect the inner carnal, an outer layer is created. Whereas the vegetables that grow above the ground, they do not have the peel or skin covering the, because it is already clear, you can wash it. But sweet potato, adders or all the root vegetables, carrot, onion, potato, you have to remove the outer skin to use, consume the inner part. For that, Master Chef requires a sharp knife. And also for the process of cooking, he needs to cut the vegetables in different forms, chiffonade, the dice, the baton, all the different types of cuttings, he uses that. For that, he needs a sharp knife. You are ailing. A certain part of your body is not functioning in line with that. It is a danger to the life, then danger to your health. Then a surgeon performs a surgery. For that, he needs the sharp knife to cut open the part, remove it, and so knife judgment is like a sharp knife. You are to live into the world a healthy and healthy well-being. For that you have to use judgment like a sharp knife, not like a dull knife. And not only that, you have to remember that the two are complementary to one another. It has, day has, the light of the day has served its purpose. Now the world will, with the dusk, 
the world will go into darkness to recuperate. To recuperate your energies, you have to go into the darkness. To continue to your work, you have to go into the light. But the, you do not consider light against the darkness. Both support one another. So good and bad creates a balance in the existence. The same amount of good people are there in the existence. In the same proportion, the bad people are also in the, ex in the existence. This balance has to be there. Otherwise, life cannot continue. There is a gravitational force. It creates the balance if it is not there. So the pull of the two creates a balance in life. In the same way, you have, in order to create balance in your life, this duality exists at the level of the mind. You have to understand it. And at the moment, what you need, you have to use the judgment like a sharp knife. If you are in the process of cooking, then you have to you add act as a chef, remove the unwanted from the wanted. But unwanted skin protects the inner kernel of the item, of the onion, of garlic, of ginger. The peel protects the ginger, the inner part of the ginger. The peel, the potato skin protects the inner from any kind of um, the any kind of infection or anything to come in because in the soil there are many things. So judgment is a sharp knife. Like a sharp knife, you have to understand its very nature that these are contradic not contradictory as the mind thinks, instead complementary to one another. And once you understand this, you are beyond the duality, the beyond the good and bad. And that's where the state of equanimity comes. Krishna says, Yogi is the one who is not divided into right and wrong. And he uses the example heat and cold for all to encompass all the situations of duality that we face on a day-to-day -day basis. Good and bad, right and wrong, this and that and so and you choose at that moment what it is necessary. When it comes to food in the restaurant, does any food is contradictory to the other? No, they are complementary to one another. What you choose at a particular moment, it is the you have understood the beyondness, the transcendence, that every food that is available in the restaurant is good. But you need only this much at this time. You need, you are fasting, you need fasting food. So that does not mean the other food is wrong. But you have chosen, you have chosen the item, you have made your judgment according to the circumstance and situations by going beyond your judgment, understanding the nature of transcendence, not as, com as contradictory to one another, that meat is bad, the vegetarian products are superior to the non-vegetarian product. It is not that. Each has its utility. You understand this? Go beyond the duality. Only then transcendence is possible. Thank you for viewing it. Wait for another session when we come back with another question. Mm -hmm.